Hey guys, Riveted here. Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Everyone is enjoying themselves today. We'll be doing well. Uh, as you can see, we have left the castle. Um, Natty has, in an, has sent us now asking us to uh, come meet her outside to discuss said things that had happened, you know, the last time we were in Hogsmeade together. Apparently, piqued her interest. Can't say that I blame her. So she wants to meet outside of the uh This could the school. prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Yeah. Well, we'll keep on guard. We're going to have our buddy with us. She's not going to lead us astray. At least I don't. Oh, God, I hope not. Can you imagine that? My favorite character in the game so far, and it turns out they're evil. That would suck. Okay, well, I'm not the clue. It is good to see you, my friend. <coughs> you too, Natty. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Time to come clean. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? Ah, I think so. Attention. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. <laughs> For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Nice. What sort of stand? Men like <laughs> Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Nice. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. Ooh. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. Yeah, it's understandable. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. <coughs> I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. Did In the know? meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank, Thank you. you, Natty. Glad that she's on Be our on side. Your gut. Okay, there are chests. What are you up to now? I beg your pardon. How dare you? Revelio. What's going on here? Okay, help the stranger. Okay. That, I, I was like, why did I get stopped for a second? Okay, let's do it. I mean, I didn't have to choose the mission. It just kind of landed on my lap. So I was going to look for something to do. And this looks like uh, an adventure. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a <coughs> word with you. Oh, I bet he would. Students, you can't be so... <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man! So, the hunt begins. I refuse to be treated in this manner! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord, I'm here! Oh, oh. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Wow. The 
collection section of your field guide has been updated. A new enemy type. You may learn valuable insight. Okay. Do you really think you can take We can hold them up. I'm not going anywhere with you. You can take this. Release me. Okay. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Yeah, no shit. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's I a long smell story. like Jasmine. Uh, thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work Ooh. and life. I'm a fan. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. The trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. It's very I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. Ooh, okay. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet. Versatile <coughs> herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. <clears throat> I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I'd be down for sure. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. Go grab some mallow sweet. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sing. Oh, this is cool oh, shit. Spears, how beautiful. <clears throat> what a day. I can hardly believe it. That was cool shit. I take <coughs> it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. Yeah. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Amazing. My guess is that each will also require mallow suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. 
I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Okay. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay. Oh, she's packing up. I love it. <laughs> and she's gone. That was really cool. Okay, so what are you? And by the way, be fully uh, warned, I'm going to stop and do everything in this Can game. I you for some assistance? Of course. Hello. <coughs> Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. Okay. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. Okay. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But... I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's <laughs> last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Okay. I don't know what that red thing is. Probably something bad. Not too sure about swimming. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Okay. We're not actually swimming. We are, um, no, we're not diving. We are, we are pushing a button. I'm okay with this. Okay. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Solar protection goggles. Okay, is there anything more here? Well, that feels good. New loot. 
solved a puzzle. <laughs> we walk really wait 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 what was that? Okay. <clears throat> Leech juice. Delightful. <coughs> okay. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. <coughs> it will. I can't. There was no way I was going space. to keep it or ask Thank a briber so for money. That's for just way me. not part and of my for personality. My family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. I do. Okay. Oh, I got a mermaid mask. I got a mermaid mask. Okay. Live as a student until Professor Fig returns. Okay, look at that. Attended a herbology class is what we gotta do. We can go and do that. Um, let's do our gear. Uh... I'm not going to use that. No, we're good. Oh, hell yeah. Those look sharp. I like them. <laughs> I look ridiculous. And I love it. Okay. Um, I, I, I found out that you can, you know, change the appearance of things, which is great. Um, and again, I can wear the hat and then not make myself look like I'm wearing a hat. See, look at me doing things. Leech juice, okay. Um, not too sure how much of this I can actually. I get. I got nothing. I have no idea how much I can carry and do all the things. And um, Merlin trials. There, there's so much to do. Defeat dark wizards. What? Okay. There's so much. So much. Uh, next mission for ourselves. Hogs Ward. Hogs Ward map. I need to go to class. Let's go do our course, our class, whatever it is. We've uh, been busy. I will not say this has been a uh, lackluster episode. I'm enjoying it. Side missions all seem to have some purpose. Um, again, not no issues with doing any of that. Uh, quests. Go to class. Getting more familiar with the map system, which is good. Because I'm going to need it. Because I... I'm going to get lost otherwise. I'm, again, looking forward to getting my broom. I've been looking forward to herbology class. There we go. But we are. Wait. 
I like how you can kind of fast forward time by waiting and. <clears throat> Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. I like her. Oh, hello. A redhead wearing class, green named Garlic. Please welcome the newest my God, rose in our my garden. Heart. We do look forward to growing together. <coughs> I do like my new glasses. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. <laughs> now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake grape. Oh, joy! Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh, wow. Place your mandrake in the new port and pack down the soil. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. <laughs> Do I get the? Uh... Now for our next task, we'll be planning to meet our potting tables. You can all <coughs> get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Okay, let's go talk to our new professor here. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let Ooh. us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. <laughs> I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds nice there now, her. and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflas Vitamin's restorative properties make it a vital <coughs> ingredient okay, in the so Wiggin' Mouth potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiggin' Weld potion. Wiggin I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. I like the sound You'll of that You'll find one. that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. <coughs> Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. The 
the best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the very idea? Uh-huh. Why the very? Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Hello. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take <coughs> us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I... here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Okay. They'll <laughs> chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Okay. Vicious little kind of bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, <coughs> but. Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup. Even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos <laughs> out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. True. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. <coughs> Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Mm -hmm. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I'm going to take everything that's not tied down. Revelio. <coughs> Let me guess, another lock I can't pick. Okay, let's head back over. Okay, and then over here. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do <laughs> seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. <coughs> Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. <sighs> I like her energy. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay. Rebellion. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damn parents. Mm -hmm. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in Didn't the great hall. Didn't while. Okay. Well, looking at the time, I think this is as good a time as any to uh, pause. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you all very soon in our next episode. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the women heads.